On this episode of China Uncensored, China's military is being shaken up, and she helped. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell, Chinese leader, head of the Chinese Communist Party, chairman of the Central Military Commission, and commander-in-chief of the People's Liberation Army, Xi Jinping, is a military mastermind. He's bringing change to the military with groundbreaking ideas. He's decided that he wants the military to be combat ready. Imagine a military ready to fight, certainly a break from tradition. According to state-run China Daily, in a meeting with commanding officers this week, she said he wants the army to focus on building new type fighting capabilities. I know new type is kind of an odd way to put it, but remember, Xi Jinping is in his 60s. Imagine him like your grandpa talking about all this newfangled technology you young people have. I bet she calls Twitter bird talk. And he probably calls Facebook that stalker thing started by the guy who awkwardly tried to get me to name his unborn child. Look, it sounds much better in Chinese. Anyway, what Xi Jinping is really talking about is the military's electronic information and space operations. Militarizing space, what could go wrong? But the main purpose of his meeting with PLA commanders this week was this. Reshuffling the military into a new condensed structure of 84 military units. The military, as you may imagine, is kind of a big deal. An even bigger deal is who controls it. And Xi Jinping has been wrestling former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin for it. She has purged several top generals loyal to Jiang. And even granted himself the new title of Commander-in-Chief, something that, yes, the Chinese military did not have before. He's also streamlined the military, laying off 300,000 soldiers in favor of cutting-edge technology. Those high-tech weapons will be a bit more loyal, and maybe even love him. This is just the latest restructuring, and there's more to come. China Daily points out that the previous four top PLA departments, staff, politics, logistics, and armaments, were dismantled. This shakeup will help Xi break Jiang Zemin's grip on the military, but it might also net him a few more enemies in the armed forces. Not to worry, she's got that covered, because the restructuring also means promotions. All 84 of the new unit's commanders have or soon will be promoted to rank of either Major General in the Ground Force, Air Force, and Rocket Force, or Rear Admiral in the Navy. You get a promotion! You get a promotion! Everybody gets a promotion! But one thing the restructuring didn't change. Everybody still has to remain loyal to the Chinese Communist Party. According to this totally unexpected article from Xinhua, Chinese military servicemen have unanimously voiced strong support for President Xi Jinping's instruction and pledged to build an indestructible army. In fact, the PLA Army said they would uphold the leadership of the CPC's Central Committee with Xi as the core. The PLA Navy said they would build a powerful force to protect China's maritime rights. The PLA Air Force said they would strive to become a force of integrated air and space capacities competent for both offensive and defensive missions. And the PLA Rocket Force said they would denounce the evils of truth and love and extend our reach to the stars above. What's that, Shelley? Oh, sorry, that was PLA Team Rocket. My mistake. The Rocket Force said they would eradicate the influence of those corrupt guys from Jiang's faction and concentrate on building an invincible army. And finally, the PLA Strategic Support Force said they would make major innovation breakthroughs and cultivate a high-end talent pool. Well, I guess we all know which is the lamest force in the PLA. Come on, Strategic Support Force. Other PLA forces are pledging to be invincible. Step it up. Anyway, judging from these heartfelt, unforced statements, I think she may just have made himself a much more loyal military. Just in time for her heightened regional tensions. I'm sure that super mighty preemptive strike sounds much better in Korean. 
So what do you think of Xi's promotional military tactics? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. I hope you're also checking us out on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and Apple TV. Yes, China Uncensored is now on all those platforms. Well, except for Apple TV in Hong Kong and Taiwan. Apple seems to be so afraid of offending the Chinese regime, they removed the China Uncensored app there. If you think that sucks, please sign our petition. The link is below. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time.